breakfast is made. Ship. Thank you. What are you eating? Buffet. We have the same breakfast today. They must be twins. Oh, my baby. You want more blueberries? <gasps> Blueberry! No, no. Do you know how old you're turning this year? No. How many will you be? Six. You'll be six? I think you'll be. Four. Okay. One, two, three. You're turning three this year. We're gonna have a princess party. Do you want to have a builder's party? Hammer party. A what? A hammer party. A hammer party. Yeah. No? You have a party? No. Oh. Banana party. Banana party? Yeah. Ooh. Everyone dresses up as a banana. Yeah. That's my kind of party. I was thinking maybe we could go and pick your big boy bed. Are you doing now? Yeah. Like we could get changed. Is it rain? Yeah, because it's raining. There's nothing to do, man. We're going to go pick... Pizza! Pizza? Are you having pizza for breakfast? It's healthy pizza, you made it. Daddy, what the heck? It's healthy pizza, mm. but like, mm. what the heck, Dad? Cold pizza? Yeah, cold pizza. Say, so, Dad, you need a haircut. You need a haircut. <laughs> Tomato sauce all in your teeth. You need to brush your teeth. Breathe on me. <laughs> oh, smelly bed breath. Yucky. That's Fox, my pizza. Do you want this vlog to be dedicated to you getting a haircut? Should we get the scissors out now? No! Yeah. No! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! Go on, just big chop off here, go. Here we go. <laughs> this gives me a... Don't even... <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> <gasps> All gone! Can I see it? It's still there! Daddy didn't chop any off at all. <laughs> it's chopping I it lied, <laughs> I lied to you. Whenever I wear my hair like this in like a big bun with a scrunchie, it reminds me of my first pregnancy with Fox. This was like my go-to look. This was my vibe. I even like gave birth in this look. So this is very nostalgic to me. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I want to give you guys a full life update, including like body updates, skin updates. With Fox, I didn't experience pregnancy pigmentation at all, which is kind of weird because my mum said it was like her main symptom or like pregnancy change. So as you can see, it kind of looks bruised on the top and I wear sun cream every single day. It's just something that happens with a lot of women when you get pregnant. So I've got pigmentation here. And then the other day, Kurt was like, oh my gosh, your freckles are looking so cute and I was like I don't have freckles what do you mean like I don't have freckles on my face necessarily and he means these ones here can you see like these are new additions so I'm like kind of vibing these ones the only negative is that I got a bit of my perioral dermatitis back again this is what happened to me in my first pregnancy this is a combination of hormones pregnancy hormones and eating sugar during the festive season I actually feel really grateful that it's down here I'd rather my dermatitis here than here I just find it like easier to cover here and I don't notice it as much I just cleansed my skin with the Esme probiotic milk cleanser that's my favorite and now I'm just going in with the skin snack. I like this one because it's got almond oil and green tea extract which my skin really loves. I really use and abuse this product. I just want to have moist skin before I put on my hyaluronic serum. In terms of skincare, if you don't know what your skin needs, like my skin right now needs a lot of hydration. I feel like it's just like sucking up everything I'm putting on it. I think it's just like the environment where I live. It's like really hot. But if you're unsure, one of my favorite brands, Esme, on their website, they have like a live chat where you can do a skin consultation and kind of like chat about your skin. Do you have combination, oily, dry? What products do you need? Because like Esme, for example, has so many products and sometimes it can be overwhelming to know like what products do you actually need? What does your skin need? I also put this on my neck. I'm nearly out of this one. I 
love this. I think this is the one product. This and nappy rash cream is really helping my periol dermatitis and I don't feel like any products necessarily help it. It's just like you kind of want to leave it alone. As you can tell, I'm like nearly out of it. This one has actually been making it less red and aggravated. So this is the probiotic milk serum. Whoop. Oh, I'm like out of breath. I'm at the point of pregnancy where it's like... <sighs> Speaking, I have to take like really big breaths. I'm really excited for today's vlog because I have been hiding. I'm not even hiding. I've just been like working on some really crazy life updates and like big steps in our life for the past few months. And I decided that today I'm going to share them all with you because like it was kind of risky talking about it before because nothing was set in stone. Now I feel like I can tell you guys and like get you in the loop. I feel like I hate when you guys are outside of the circle of trust, like outside the loop. I just feel like you don't know what's going on. But today's vlog is all about that to like update you on what's going on. Okay, final step. I'm going to put my sun cream on. This is the Esme Natural Face Sunscreen. It's got carrot root oil and hyaluronic acid in it. So it's one sun cream. I'll show you what it looks like on. So it kind of just applies like a moisturizer and settles into the skin and doesn't stay white. Esme Skin Minerals has been kind enough to sponsor today's vlog. And if you spend over $60, you get a free sun cream, which this is like my everyday one. I have like four now because I have like one in each bathroom, one on the boat and one in my beach bag. Just enter my code SDSUN. But thank you Esme for sponsoring today's video you guys know I love them but I would recommend my favorite products at the moment is always the milk probiotic cleanser I just it's like my ride or die cleanser this is why I have the big one I love the hyaluronic serum and then yeah I'm really enjoying their probiotic serums yeah today is like a running errand kind of like organization day. I'm also at the point of pregnancy that like hardly anything fits me. I can't believe I've got like nine weeks to go. Like I said, I'm 31 weeks pregnant and luckily right now, well, not really luckily, but like it's nice to just be on track. I got measured yesterday by my midwife and I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. So my belly is measuring at 31 weeks and I am 31 weeks pregnant. So that's nice, but I just feel like you can't tell in this, but I feel big. Oh, it's about to rain. Raining. It's raining. <laughs> the rain is good because it makes all the plants grow really big and then all the animals can drink up the rain. What are we going to get? My big bed. Your big bed. Was <laughs> cool. Thumbs up, Fox. Yeah! <laughs> Cheers! Yeah, Baba? Just as I was getting organized. <laughs> Okay, so it was a really productive day. We went and ordered Fox's big boy bed. I've mentioned to you guys before, when I have this baby, obviously he'll just be like next to our bed for the first like three months. I actually forget. Let's just open up the windows. So this nursery is currently Fox's room. It's got all of his clothes and shoes. So I'm gonna have to swap everything over and put like onesies and newborn stuff in here because at the moment this is like toddler undies and pull-ups oh that's my oven so yeah i need to transform this into newborn life and then upstairs is going to be fox's big boy toddler room give me a second my oven has just gone off because i'm developing another sunny recipe it's a gluten and dairy-free bread pudding and i'm feeling very confident about it it smells really good though. So Foxy was just napping, but I just heard him yell out to me. Are you awake, Bubba? Maybe he'll fall back asleep, I'm not sure. Look at that. Ooh, stay tuned. If it's good, I need a taste test with the team. If it's good, then it will make it onto the Sunny app. Yeah, I'm just multitasking at the moment. I've got, I'm talking to my team on the computer. My phone is going off. Who is messaging me? It's Kurt, I have a missed call. 
We'll call him back later. In terms of Sunny and 2022, I'm not gonna lie, I still have to sit down with our whole team and like have a huge 2022 meeting in terms of like all of our different companies and all of our different brands. I was gonna keep this like totally secret, but I feel like if you have truly been following my vlogs and my Instagram stories, then you probably have guessed it by now. But for the past few months, myself and the team have been working super, super hard on a sunny cookbook. I was hoping to get it live last year, but when we found out about like this baby and all this stuff, I kind of like paused everything because there's a timeline of like having to print a cookbook. It kind of just like messed up all of our timings. Now I can just like take even more time and get the cover perfect, but it's pretty much done. And you guys, it is so cool. It's like the cookbook, obviously that I would want as a gift. I would want in my house. It has like nourish bowls to fit family bakes, um, smoothies and smoothie bowls, of course, snacks, light treats, dips, sauces. It's just like that one go-to healthy cookbook, but it's like not boring healthy and not like too hard healthy. Like you don't need like 200 million ingredients. That's the first update. Yes, we are working on a cookbook. Only thing we haven't really done now is established the cover. So I think we're gonna make like four different cover photos and different like cover names, like titles, and then like pitch it to our demographic and get them to vote and see, because like that's so important, especially if we do release it into like bookstores and things like that, like the cover is so important. So I just can't decide, like I want it to be a cookbook that you'd wanna present in your kitchen. Like you'd wanna have it up there or you'd wanna have it like displayed. I want it to be really beautiful. And every single recipe in the cookbook is approved by a nutritionist and a dietitian. So we've got Dee and Millie. And yeah, I'm just super excited for that. But now I'm like, do I shoot? Do I try this? Do I shoot it? Okay, gluten and dairy free bread and pudding bread for Sunny. And bread and donuts. And donuts. This tastes like a cinnamon donut. Does it? Yeah. Do you love it? Loving it. You wanna try some? Yeah, I will try some. Okay, but if I give you glass. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Now being 31 weeks, I'm just feeling so much movement, but I feel like I can never get the right angle. Like I can see my belly moving and like him kicking and rolling, but I feel like I can like never get a good video of it. Oh my gosh, like, can you see? Oh, he's moving so much. Yeah, I was going through my old iPhone footage and like there's just so many videos of me trying to capture Fox moving in my belly. And I haven't filmed this baby at all. I think it's like, Number one, it's my second pregnancy, so I think I still am in awe that there's like a baby in there and moving, but it's not my first experience. So it's like I'm familiar with the feeling and like the visual, but I don't wanna like miss out on capturing it and the memories. Hello, we've definitely got a foot or something up here. It's 5.34, I should technically be making dinner, but I'm just like, I don't know, I've hit a wall. Honestly, since hitting 30 weeks pregnant, like for the last two weeks, maybe it's just because we've been like really busy with just like family and being active and having fun days at the beach. But I'm like so exhausted. I just feel like I have no energy. I had to eat so much food today. I, I just, I got full and then I was hungry like 45 minutes later. So I've just had like consistent meals throughout the day. Yeah, I just like feel like I just can't get enough food. I just want to rest. The boys are up there. What are you watching? Big Willy. Oh, big, free Willy. Big Willy. Free Willy. Yeah. This office is still a work in progress. I have to like organize this space. I have to get a new chair. Kurt, when are you going to put up my painting? Uh, this weekend. You say that every week. This weekend, this weekend. I want to put that. It's not a painting, it's a picture. I want to put that picture up there. And yeah, I need to get like a big like, desk chair, you know, like maybe a roller chair or just like a cool grand chair because I think this is where I'll do most of my work because when I'm like breastfeeding a baby and stuff, I don't think I'll be in our actual office very much. Career and business. I feel like I need Kurt for this because I have some bomb shells to share with you. And I just, I said, come into the office and like, let's tell them the big news. Well, he says he's into his movie, but he's not watching his movie. I know he's lying to me because the other day, story time, he was putting Fox to sleep and he was laying in our bed and like laying with Fox. And he was like this with his phone. 
I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, just like mindlessly scrolling. I'm like, you're not mindlessly scrolling. And I peeped around and he has Call of Duty on his phone. And he has referenced before, like, aren't you glad I'm not like a gaming boy? Like we don't own an Xbox, a gaming system, a PlayStation or anything. But he has it on his phone and now he's addicted. And I bet you he's on it now. I bet you. What are you playing? The game. What game? Call of Duty. <gasps> I knew it! Oh it's such a waste of time. Me and Fox are chilling out. I don't like Free Willy. It's sad. Then why did you put it on for him? It is sad. You're going to make him sad. He wants to watch it. And I think I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and hopefully Kurt won't be playing COD or his surfing game and we can sit down together and tell you our big business news, which will also mean you guys get a whole new series on YouTube. So right now in the comments, go down, have a guess. What are we doing? If it's a series on YouTube, it's a business goal. And now it's coming true. I'm so excited. So I'm obviously at the office at the moment and I, <laughs> I get to tell you the most exciting update. Where's your outfit of the day? I feel like that fish had a name on it. Oh, yeah. yes. You know that fish and it has like the yes. light bulb and you yes. scare away with my gear. This is my child from the time. This is clue number one of what I'm about to tell you. Clue number two is at the door. And clue number three, I'll, I'll just explicitly tell you when we get there. <laughs> clue number two. Clue number two. <laughs> clue number two. No, wide load coming through. Oh, my phone. I really need that for my Pinterest board. Oh, oh the girls are on. I don't want to show you too much because you will see it on this camera very soon. Our biggest project of 2022 is we bought a warehouse, which like, I want to show you, but then you have to, oh, 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 I need to get out of the shot. Kurt's getting some B-roll, Maddie's doing some measuring. As you guys know, we work out of our old apartment, like our first ever apartment, and it was good for like a year, but now we've just outgrown it. Like the studio space is not big enough. Yeah, we have recently put a deposit on this place. And the thing is, we've been looking for like a year and we've just had to make compromises. Like there's nothing that's perfect for us. It's really hard to get like the perfect space. In terms of the camera, we are filming a full series. Okay, you guys can so this you space is basically like our creative studio, my office, our meeting room, our team's workspace. This is one of the bad things. Can you hear? Probably. Surely they can. It's right under a flight path. But like I said, like we just, where we live, we have to pick our battles. I think it's gonna be a good series, but basically, yeah, it's like a creative studio. We have props here. We shoot everything here. It's gonna be epic. We don't have aircon at the moment, if you can't tell. I have oh, the biggest solar. so hot in here right now. Talia nearly fainted. Talia was on the, Charlie was on the boom mic. It was a good time for all of us. And yeah, and then in terms of all of the camera equipment, we are filming a full series, transforming this space into our epic studio, creative space, office, meeting room, po oh, podcast studio. Because in 2022, we're gonna get more into producing other people's podcasts. Because as you guys know, Kurt and I have the Health Code podcast. I don't know, I like scheduling people and producing, so we wanna get into more of like producing other people's podcasts. So upstep, I can't tell. Maddie is here bringing me back down to reality, really. Like, I tell her my dreams, she squashes them. No. Squash <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting better at, like, knowing what's possible. No. <laughs> but Maddie's more like, um, you know, that's like $100,000 what you want to do. And I'm like, okay, maybe we won't do that then. The thing we need the most is aircon, I'm telling you. We live in Australia. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's common knowledge that it is humid AF here. And I'm pregnant. If you didn't know from my past like 20 vlogs, I'm pregnant. So I'm already naturally hot anyway, in both ways. <laughs> we are, we're in the wrong outfit, sis. Fashion. The hard thing is, is we viewed this warehouse five times before getting our solicitors involved and paying deposits. And we never, we never heard a plane go past because it was like COVID times. It was like the lockdown. So listen to the plane. So no one was flying, like no one was flying in and out of Sydney really, like not a lot of flights. See if we can see the plane. 
Where's the plane? So now that Sydney's kind of like back to normal-ish, the flight paths are back up and running. So we're just kind of like chatting to Maddie about what we can do to soundproof the space. Like obviously you can see, it's all just like sheet metal. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so hard. <laughs> we're gonna have to do some serious Soundproofing. It's gonna be a podcast studio, but there's also gonna be like a full-on filming studio where we film like the health code videos and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, they're filming a TikTok. Oh, good. You gotta do it to a dance. How are you feeling, Mads? Hot. You guys know she is one of the founders of Studio Albus and they designed our house and we loved it so much that we obviously got her involved again to design our dream studio. And then after this, we're gonna go out to dinner, like a friend dinner, you know, like no work. But apparently I've gotta come and help choreograph a TikTok. Oh. <laughs> 